My name is Gabe. This is my YouTube channel. It's pretty great. I'm on my way to the store because I realized to do this peanut butter and jelly video, I need a jelly, which I don't have because I don't really eat peanut butter and jelly much. I eat a lot of peanut butter. No jelly. So we're going to the store to get some goddamn jelly. I got I got the jelly, guys. Here it is. We got we got grape. Or we got strawberry. We're gonna go with grape. It's the, this is tried and true classic. <laughs> oh god, it came off. Now I've got COVID. Hey guys, it's me, your pal Gabriella. And I just got back from the store where I purchased this disgusting grape jelly. And today we're gonna eat Gilbert Brown creamy peanut butter. He was number 93. Uh, I got some stats here. The peanut butter is from uh, 1998. Can you, can you see that cameraman? Good, good. I paid five dollars for it. Uh, the gentleman has sold me it. I told him I was going to eat it afterwards. If you're going to do what I do and you're going to buy some at garage sales to eat that's outdated like this, uh, this is 22 year old peanut butter. Uh, if you're going to do that, you definitely don't want to tell the people when you go to do it that you're doing it because they will not sell it to you. But he'd already taken the money, so at that point he knew he was screwed. He actually like subtle, like it was like a subconscious movement. He went for the five bucks that I gave him for it, and then he just knew he'd sold this peanut butter to the devil. And I told him I was gonna eat it. And so Gilbert Brown was uh, he played for the Green Bay Packers in '93 through '99, then 2001 through 2003. He played 125 games and had 292 tackles. His nickname was the Grave Digger because he would do like a finishing thing where he would dig a grave whenever he would tackle somebody or whatever the hell it is. I don't know football, but uh, I mean, he, he seems pretty cool, uh, I guess. He runs like a charity and stuff now. They got a burger in some bar named after him. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so let's crack this bad boy open. Oh, the seal just came out. Oh my God. I wondered how this happened. Do you see this on the label where it's like discolored? There's oil all over that label. And I wondered how, and it's been seeping out of the top of the lid. If you see that, that's Pure oil. Let's have a little licky. Oh, oh! Tastes like plastic. Alright, that looks like some pretty dry peanut butter without that oil. It looks alright. Smells extremely peanutty. Let's have a little tasty. Tastes a little, little rancid. Slight plastic taste. But altogether, not too bad. Let's do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich the way I like to do a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Um, you get yourself two nice pieces of bread on some, uh, goodbye bread, on some napkins because I was too lazy to get a plate. And you really want to slather that fucking peanut butter on. You, you don't use a little bit of peanut butter in game land. All right, we use a significant amount of peanut butter. I had a different video planned for today, but it wasn't as long, it wasn't as impressive. It'll probably go up next Monday. Uh, also, YouTube has blacklisted me again. If you watch, go through my view counts. It's pretty amusing, actually. Uh, for a while, I thought I was doing something wrong. Like, it was Ryan who ruined my videos. And I mean, Ryan did ruin my videos just by being a piece of shit. But it, it wasn't Ryan who, you know, hit the videos. Uh, shout out to Ryan if you're out there watching this. Um, fuck you. That's right. Fuck you, Ryan. Um, but, uh... They, if you look at my last few views, it's like 400, 150, 200. It's like in the 150 range for all of them. And then the last time I put up was 58 views after they demonetized one randomly. And every time I get demonetized, it's like a month or two month long thing where I'm fighting to get the views I used to get. And it just goes lower, lower, lower. And it sucks, but what are you going to do? All right, let's get some grape jelly on there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Should we look the, look the 22 year old peanut butter up? Just saying, ladies, if you're out there, that could be you. Very salty. I don't know if it's because things are separated, but that is an extremely salty peanut butter. All right. World's oldest peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 22 years of flavor. You can definitely taste that the peanut butter isn't quite right. Kind of fucked up. I also just ate like a humongous plate of Mexican food with three tortillas. So, uh, 
I got a lift later. I feel like I'll be able to throw the moon over. Whatever the fuck you throw the moon over. What the fuck would you throw the moon over itself? Yeah, there's like a like a burned plastic taste on the underside of the uh, peanut butter. Kind of off putting. 22 years of flavor, though, I'll tell you what. Thanks, Gilbert Brown. He's a big guy. Look at that guy. His stats say 6'2 and like 3 something. Dude's literally almost double my body weight. Side note, fun fact, uh, the other day I was deadlifting and I got uh, 395 pounds five times in a row for a set, and that's 45 pounds over my body weight five times, or over double my body weight five times. Yeah, there's just this off-putting plasticky little taste. It's not good. I'm guessing it ate some of the can or the container on some level. That oil tasted horrendous. That oil was like sickening, dude. It was bad because it sat on that label so long. Yeah, the guy at the garage sale. Oh my god, it was funny. He was horrified by the prospect of me eating this. Alright, well. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.